mystery unfolds. All the shining stars, planets, and galaxies we can see make up only a tiny fraction of the universe's mass. In fact, everything visible, from the brightest galaxy to the smallest atom, accounts for less than 5% of what the cosmos contains. The rest is dominated by something we cannot see at all, a mysterious substance scientists call dark matter. Dark matter neither emits nor reflects light, rendering it effectively invisible. Yet it is far from insignificant, it makes up roughly 85% of all the matter in the universe, exerting a gravitational pull that has shaped the cosmos on the grandest scales. Despite the ominous sounding name, there's nothing sinister about it. Dark simply means we can't see it. This invisible matter is everywhere, enveloping galaxies and permeating space, quietly holding the fabric of the universe together. Dark matter remains one of the greatest scientific mysteries of our time. Its presence is felt in the way galaxies spin and cluster, but its true nature is still unknown. In this documentary, we journey through what we do know about dark matter, how it was discovered, what it might be, and how scientists are searching for it, all in a calm and curious exploration. Dark matter is an invisible form of matter believed to permeate the universe. Unlike normal matter, the stuff that makes up stars, planets, and us, dark matter does not interact with light or any electromagnetic radiation. You can't see it, touch it, or photograph it. It passes through us and our instruments unnoticed. We know it's there only because of its gravity. Wherever ordinary matter is found, Dark matter is thought to be lurking alongside it, gently tugging with its gravitational pull. Our own Milky Way galaxy, for example, is embedded in a vast halo of dark matter that extends well beyond the visible stars. This invisible halo envelops the galaxy like an enormous transparent cocoon, providing extra gravity that holds the Milky Way together. To put its significance in perspective, dark matter is about five times more common than normal matter. If you could put all the universe's matter on a scale, the dark portion would overwhelmingly outweigh the familiar material made of atoms. It's as if most of the stuff of the cosmos is hidden in shadow. Yet, this hidden mass has played a vital role in the universe. In the early cosmos, dark matter's gravity acted as a cosmic scaffold, an invisible framework on which gas coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies. Without dark matter's guiding pull, the orderly structure of galaxies and galaxy clusters we see today would likely never have come to be. In essence, dark matter is the invisible backbone of the universe, holding galaxy formations in place with its gravity. If dark matter cannot be seen, how did scientists discover it? The story of dark matter's discovery is a classic tale of seeing the unseen through its effects. One of the earliest clues came in the 1930s with astronomer Fritz Zwicky. He was studying the coma cluster of galaxies and found that the galaxies were moving far too fast to be held together by the gravity of their visible stars. In 1933, Zwicky calculated the cluster had much more mass than what was visible, and he concluded something unseen was acting like glue to hold these galaxies together. He named the unseen mass Dunkle Materie, German for dark matter. This was the first hint that the universe contained a hidden ingredient. Decades later, in the 1970s, astronomer Vera Rubin provided another key piece of the puzzle. Rubin measured how fast stars orbit around the centers of spiral galaxies. According to the laws of gravity, stars at a galaxy's outskirts should orbit more slowly if most of the galaxy's mass is concentrated in the middle, as with the solar system where distant planets move slower. Instead, Rubin found that stars in the outer regions were orbiting just as fast as those nearer in. It was as though some extra unseen mass in the galaxies was pulling on those outer stars, preventing them from flying off into space. Without this hidden mass acting as a gravitational anchor, 
the fast-moving outer stars would simply escape the galaxy's grip and the galaxy would fly apart. The conclusion was inescapable. A huge amount of invisible matter must be present in and around each galaxy, providing the gravity needed to hold it together. Further compelling evidence has come from the way gravity behaves on even larger scales. Massive clusters of galaxies act like cosmic lenses, bending and distorting the light from more distant galaxies behind them, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. By measuring this lensing effect, scientists can weigh the cluster's total mass. These measurements often show far more gravity than the visible matter alone can produce. In one dramatic case, the bullet cluster, a collision of two galaxy clusters, provided a telltale sign of dark matter. When these clusters collided, astronomers observed that the hot gas, which is normal matter, slowed down and separated from the galaxies. But the dominant mass, inferred from gravitational lensing, sped straight through the collision unhindered. The visible matter was left behind, while the bulk of the gravity remained with something invisible, strongly indicating the presence of dark matter. Such observations are considered direct evidence that dark matter exists, as alternative explanations, like modifying gravity laws, fail to explain this behavior. All across the cosmos, the same picture emerges. Galaxies orbiting in clusters, stars circling within galaxies, light bending around massive structures, and even the patterns in the Big Bang's afterglow all point to an overwhelming conclusion. There is more out there than meets the eye. As one astrophysicist put it, the universe is practically hitting us over the head with evidence of dark matter. Every independent observation, from the way galaxies rotate to how large-scale structures formed, fits the dark matter paradigm. In each case, calculations show that about five-sixths of the mass must be invisible. The universe, it turns out, is built on a foundation of dark matter, even though we cannot see it directly. With the evidence for dark matter now overwhelming, the big question remains, what exactly is it? Scientists know dark matter exists and how much of it is out there, but its true identity is still a mystery. The leading idea is that dark matter could be some kind of new elementary particle, one that doesn't interact with light and barely interacts with normal matter. For many years, a top candidate was the WIMP, or weakly interacting massive particle. WIMPs were hypothesized as heavy, slow-moving particles that only feel the weak nuclear force and gravity, which would make them invisible and hard to detect. They fit nicely into some theories of physics, and if they existed in the right numbers, they could account for the dark matter. However, despite extensive searches, no confirmed sign of WIMPs has turned up so far. Another intriguing candidate is the Axion, a very lightweight particle proposed to solve a separate puzzle in physics. Axions, if they exist, might be abundant and invisible, and experiments are underway to detect them, but none have been found yet. Scientists have also considered sterile neutrinos, a special type of neutrino that barely interacts with anything, and even exotic astrophysical objects like primordial black holes as possible dark matter components Primordial black holes would be black holes formed in the early universe, too small to be made from stars, and a large population of them could act as dark matter. So far, observations haven't revealed enough of these hidden black holes to account for all of dark matter, but the idea hasn't been completely ruled out. Some researchers once proposed we might not need dark matter at all if the laws of gravity were tweaked. For example, theories like MOND, modified Newtonian dynamics, tried to explain galaxy rotations without unseen mass. However, these alternate theories struggle to explain the full range of evidence, especially dramatic cases like the bullet clusters split between visible and invisible mass. The prevailing view today is that dark matter is real and made of something tangible, even if very elusive, it may be a type of particle or object that just hasn't been captured in our detectors yet. In short, we have strong evidence that dark matter exists. 
but we are still chasing clues about what it is. Unraveling the nature of dark matter is an active and challenging frontier in science. Around the world, physicists and astronomers are devising clever experiments to catch a glimpse of this ghostly substance. One major approach is happening deep underground. Detector laboratories have been built in mine shafts and tunnels far beneath the Earth's surface, where rock shields them from cosmic rays and other interference. Inside these labs, enormous detectors are filled with ultra-pure materials in hopes of capturing a rare interaction from a dark matter particle. For example, in an old gold mine in South Dakota, a team of scientists placed a giant tank filled with liquid xenon, surrounded by ultra-sensitive sensors. The idea is that if a dark matter particle zips through the detector and strikes a xenon atom, it will produce a faint flash of light or a tiny electrical signal. Such a signal would be a telling hit from dark matter. These experiments are extraordinarily delicate. They wait quietly in the dark, listening for the lightest tap from an invisible particle. So far, despite years of running and ever-increasing sensitivity, they have not yet detected a definitive dark matter signal. The detectors remain patiently waiting, pushing the limits of what we can observe. Another strategy takes place at the highest energies on the surface, particle accelerators. In facilities like CERN's Large Hadron Collider, scientists smash subatomic particles together at tremendous speeds, essentially recreating conditions similar to the early universe. In these violent collisions, they look for signs of new particles flying out that could be dark matter. The hallmark would be an apparent disappearance of energy, as some invisible particles escape the detectors. While the LHC and other colliders have produced a wealth of new physics insights, no clear dark matter particle has been observed in the debris of these collisions yet. This means if dark matter particles are being made, they're either too subtle for current detectors or require even higher energies or different approaches to reveal themselves. Astronomers are also indirectly searching the cosmos for clues. They survey the sky for unusual signals that might hint at dark matter particles decaying or annihilating each other in space. For instance, a faint glow of gamma rays coming from the center of our galaxy could be a hint of dark matter at work. So far, the results here have been inconclusive, with no smoking gun signal yet. The search for dark matter often feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, except the needle is invisible and the haystack is the entire universe. It's a profound scientific detective hunt. Remarkably, we might be swimming in a sea of dark matter particles without ever noticing. Calculations suggest that billions of dark matter particles may be passing through each of us every second without a trace. Capturing even one would be a breakthrough. So, scientists continue to refine their experiments, invent new detection methods, and even launch instruments into space, all to catch this elusive quarry. Each null result, while initially disappointing, helps narrow down the possibilities and guides researchers on where to look next. After decades of study, dark matter stands as a humbling reminder of how much remains unknown about the universe. We see its gravitational footprints everywhere in the cosmos, yet the creature leaving those footprints remains unseen. Unraveling the dark matter mystery is not just about identifying a particle or phenomenon. It's about completing our understanding of the universe's composition and history. The effort to detect dark matter is pushing science and technology to new extremes inspiring collaboration across the globe and spurring innovative thinking. One day, a clever experiment or observation will crack the case, and when that happens, it will open a new window onto the workings of our universe. For now, dark matter continues to intrigue and inspire. It reminds us that the universe still holds secrets in the shadows, waiting to be brought to light. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that there's far more out there than we can see.